Hello, welcome to my TED Talk. Today we're going to be talking about five things great teachers do. So the first thing great teachers do is celebrate mistakes. Sometimes as a teacher we have to make mistakes on purpose. Students need to know that we are not superhuman, that we do not know everything there is to know about what we are teaching. This allows students to ease up on themselves and realize they do not need to be perfect either. It also gives an opportunity for you to check in with students and see if they caught your mistake. It can be something simple like arithmetic work, or you can use the wrong formula on purpose and let the student that catches it explain it to the rest of the class why it needs to be changed. Then praise the students for them catching the mistake. The second great thing teachers do is appreciate differences. All students do not learn the same exact way. This is especially true if you have students that grew up somewhere else or even outside of the country. They will have learned their math in much different ways. This does not mean anybody is wrong. It is just taking different approaches to the same problem. In education, we love students that can attack something from different angles because this all helps with building real world problem solving skills. So when different students have different ways of solving problems, show them both to the whole class because one way just might help someone that is struggling versus the way everyone else knows it and how you're trying to teach it. The third thing great teachers do is relay feedback. It can be hard for a student to stay motivated if the only feedback they get from the teacher is an A or a B in the final letter grade. One easy way to keep students involved in the class is by providing candy if students come up to the board to answer problems or get a hard question right during class. Just tossing a Jolly Rancher or a fun-sized Milky Way to a student lets them know that they need to keep up the good work, or when students do not get this reward, they need to be trying a little bit harder to meet your expectations. A small piece of candy is something that almost all students want. It hardly takes the time out of the lesson or distracts anybody, and it raises the morale of the whole classroom. The fourth thing great teachers do is evaluate themselves. It can be painful to hear your own voice on a recording, such as work right now. But if you videotape one of your lessons, maybe one is a more content heavy day, it can give you invaluable feedback for you to better yourself. You might think you are doing most things fine, but when you go back and watch yourself, you will pick up on a lot of little things that you had no idea you ever thought you had done. Then you can adjust your lesson plans and make that lesson much more effective for the next time it needs to be taught. Or if you go back and see, wow, I really messed that one up, then you can come into class, admit that it was not your best day teaching. They'll thank you and appreciate your honesty and allows you to reset the students and get back on a better track. And the fifth thing great teachers do, the absolute bottom line, is that great teachers just care. If you are not showing up every day to make sure you are doing your best, making sure each student is trying their best, and wanting to see each student succeed beyond their own imagination, then you aren't being the teacher that will lead a better future. Our job is to raise the future that goes on and does much better than any of us now. And to do that, you have to care. Thank you.